Hello everyone, my name is Juliana and I'm delighted to tell you all about the Greece Summer Abroad course. Let me begin by introducing myself. I am a fourth year student at UTSG, majoring in political science with minors in philosophy and French language. This past summer, I participated in Paul 300, Modern Greek Culture, People, Tradition, Language and Cuisine for the month of June. The course primarily took place in Athens for three weeks, with the last week spent in Rhodes. This was actually my second summer abroad program as I spent July 2023 in Tour France for a French language course. Because I had such a wonderful time in France, I was inspired to spend another summer abroad, but this time in Greece. Thankfully, I had another great experience, so let me tell you a little bit about my Greek summer. The university is partnered with a school in Greece called College Year in Athens, or CYA. Your classes will be held in this school's building, and a member of the staff will often accompany your group on field trips. CYA will also be your main point of contact in relation to your accommodations. The CYA buildings also include a place to do your laundry and a library where you can do your studies. Accommodations. The school and your accommodations are all located in, in the neighborhood of Pangrati in Athens. There are different residences as everyone will be staying in local apartment buildings. However, they are all within a 10 minute walk to the school. Staying in local apartments means you're very close to pretty much anything you want or need, restaurants, grocery stores, and more. For a clearer picture, my class was even able to walk to the Acropolis. Regarding the actual room situation, you will likely share an apartment with about four other students. This means you will probably have a roommate, although there are some exceptions, like for those with accommodations, and some people in my year simply had a two to three person apartment only. Your apartment will have a shared kitchen, living room, bathroom, and balcony. The experience in Rhodes is a bit different as you will be staying in a hotel instead. So you will just be sharing a room with your roommate or be on your own. You will dine in the downstairs area or at nearby restaurants. At the hotel my class stayed at, we had our breakfast included and our hotel was right on the beach. Course information. For the duration of Athens, lectures will be at CYA from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. from Monday to Wednesday with afternoons and evenings free. Field trips occur on Thursdays and Fridays. Expect those to take up most of your day, but the evenings are yours and so are the weekends. In Rhodes, the course was primarily field trip based. Some of my favorite memories. Going to the Coldplay concert at the Olympic Stadium. A field trip to the Bread Museum. Going to an open air cinema. And going to Sunio and seeing the Temple of Poseidon at sunset. Why participate? There is an amazing professor. He taught us so much. He also grew up in the neighborhood of Pangrati, so he's willing to show you places for food and activities. It is also totally different from the regular tourist experience. You'll get the local experience, but also without the stress as the university makes most arrangements for you, like accommodations and planning field trips. You can do all of this while gaining a UFT Arts and Science full year credit in only four weeks. This actually led to me getting to take less courses in my final year. Additionally, it's not a transfer credit, so there's no conflict with the regular academic calendar. In fact, the course can count towards your program and degree requirements, as it did for me. It's a small course, so there's more of a personal experience that you won't get during the regular school year. Additionally, of course, there are personal benefits, like improvements in confidence and independence that comes from living in another country. Application info. Applications will open on December 13th at 10 a.m. and close January 31st at 5 p.m. So you'll have your winter break to work on it. Keep in touch. To learn more and keep updated on information, please feel free to follow our Instagram page and join our Discord server. However, your most important resource will be our website, 
visit www.summerabroad.utoronto.ca for more details. You can find almost all the important information there. But if you still have questions, you can also book one-on-one -on -one meetings, email us, including if you have specific questions for me, just include my name in the email and they can forward any messages to me, or sign up for an information session on our website. There will be general information sessions in the fall, but the Greece program session, along with other program-specific ones, will be held in the winter. There's also a recording of the information session from last year you can watch on the website. If this particular course does not fit your interests, I advise you to take a look on our website. There are a large array of courses for you to check out. That's all for today. I hope you have a great day and consider applying for the unique opportunity to spend four weeks of your summer in Greece.